Hey guys, Vincent here. Today I'll be talking about the origami drippers. Um, these drippers, they have a slightly larger hole at the bottom, so they flow a little bit faster than the V60, which allows us for a nice sweet coffee. And they're really, really beautiful. They come in many colors as well, okay? So uh, today, we'll just be talking about how the flow rate and everything works with this. Enjoy. So, quick overview of what kind of equipment we're gonna be using today. Um, the, the drippers actually come with a wood base. It's very important, it actually sits on the server we're going to be using. So it just goes on like that, and the dripper goes on top. So the dripper just kind of goes on like that. So that's just the basic setup for the pour over. Um, aside from the pour from this, we're going to need a kettle. Today's kettle is going to be the Hario Buonos. They're the 700 ml ones. Um, they're stove top, super easy to use, and it actually has one of my favorite pouring spouts. The, the, the flow rate is just amazing and it pours really slowly and very carefully. Um, so we'll be using this one today. And on top of that, we're going to have our trusty scale. This is the Hario scale. They're very responsive. It even has a timer at the bottom, um, the way it's on this side. And so we can get all our accurate measurements between the, the water and the beans. So in the process of making a pour over with the origami, we're going to need the filter. The filter, pretty easy to set. All you have to do is just fold at this line, and just like that. Just like that. A simple fold, and it will sit perfectly in the origami dripper. After that, we're going to get some hot water, heat it up, heat the, the server up, and uh, we're ready to start, really. And now we have the beans. Depending on what kind of beans you're using, I would just generally use a, a medium to fine grind, uh, with my given technique at least. Just because I like to do single pours, we'll go over that in a second, but single pours tend to go a little bit faster, and so we would be using a finer grind. If you do multiple pours, you can use a coarser grind. Um, but on the origami, the grind size should be the same as the V60, which is the more well-known and standardized method. Yeah, it's easy to use, and we'll be showing you the finer grinds um, with my technique. So with the single pour technique, or the continuous pour, there is no bloom. Everybody pretty much has heard about a bloom if you've watched other tutorials, but I'll be showing you the single pour. It's my, my preferred technique. What we're gonna really look for and focus on is pouring extremely slowly at the beginning. We want our first drip to come out really, really slow. So we're gonna be aiming for like the 15 to 20 second mark. With the origami, because it's a slightly shorter dripper than the V60, you actually get to pour closer to the coffee bed. And that allows for a gentler agitation. A gentler agitation just allows us to have a longer immersion and the first drip will come out later. This results in a heavier, but more sweet coffee from beginning to end because your first drips won't be out, won't be out coming out too thin. After that, we're just gonna slowly work our way out and push the grinds towards the sides. Once all the dark matter has settled, we can just finish and pour out the rest of the water into the coffee as quickly as possible. We're gonna be aiming for a a little bit over a minute and 35 seconds. So between 135 and 150, that's kind of the timing range you'll be aiming for. The drain itself is gonna be similar to the V60. Uh, it does come out a little bit faster, so you do expect it to, to finish a little bit faster. But honestly, because you're pouring closer and more gentle, it actually might take the same time, depending on your technique. Let's head over to the bar and just give this a shot. Okay, so. This is uh, the technique I will be showing you. Um, as we talked about, it's just gonna be one sink continuous pour. Uh, I've already got my pre on coffee. Um, and here, we're gonna show you how to set the filter properly. So I folded the filter. Um, it goes right in the, the origami dripper right here like this. With, my, with one hand, I'm gonna hold it down. And with the other hand, I'm just going to pour hot water into it. Once it's wet, we can kinda just let go. Um, the main purpose really is to heat up the both the server and the dripper, uh, and it rinses out all the flavors and impurities that are in the, the, the filter. What we want to do is if we actually want to reuse this hot water, uh, we're going to use it to 
heat up our cup at the same time. Just like that. Uh, and you're gonna turn the scale on. We get our grinds in here. Uh, we're gonna give it a little quick shake and have it as a flatbed. And uh, we're gonna start, okay? So 16 grams is the is how much we put in first. Uh, we're gonna be waiting for 240 grams to come out, or 240 grams of water. And uh, you're gonna wanna start in the middle and uh, enjoy. Notice how all the grinds have already settled. So we're just gonna pour down until the 240. And at the end of it all, we're just gonna give it a quick stir. And let it finish. So now that it's finished draining, uh, make sure you empty out the water in the glass. <laughs> it, it happens, people have always made this mistake. Uh, we're just gonna take this off and set it aside. I'm just gonna leave it in my sink. And uh, we just poured it, just nice and easily, just like that. And it's time to enjoy our coffees. <sighs> Hope that helps you guys with your brewing experience. Um, the origami, super fun, super easy to use. The technique I've passed off, this is a technique I actually use myself. Um, if you guys have any questions though, leave us a comment below. Um, all the equipment, that'll also be in the link. Uh, in the description below. Our website's there. If you guys have anything you guys need, you can get off of there. Let us know what you guys want to see in the future. I will do my best to make videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.